Welcome to yet another edition of Planet K. My name is David Luaga. And my name is Phoebe Nekesa. This week we bring you fantastic things. Yes. But you know, Phoebe, how was your week? My week was awesome, really great. Yeah. You know, I always we're always having an awesome week. So always also you yeah. out there, always pray that God gives you an awesome week, yeah? yeah. We're always here mm. to bring you brand new things. Yes. So always pray that we, mm. we you know, you know, we don't get sick. Mm. But first, yeah. let's go to K News. <laughs> Victoria's kindergarten and primary school held life skill activities at their school during their holiday. I want us to make a pyramid. Liz said, a pyramid. You are not supposed to start with your head. Use the materials I've given you. But this is important. The closer you can be to a car is the distance of this ribbon. So if I am standing here, the cap should be that close to that distance. I should be that far from there, yes. This workshop took four days and awesomely, kids and teachers participated in this workshop. The wind is your problem. They were split into several groups as you can see, and it was a great time all together. And this wasn't their first time to do such activities at school, as Mr. Richard Misime tells Planet K. My name is Richard Misime. I work as an administrator with Victoria's Education Services. Uh, the whole program of life skills actually is in line with our school vision, which is to nurture a child to live a victorious life. Over time, we have realized that um, our children, uh, when they go through school, it's not easy to employ them, or even later alone start work on their own. So for us to unlock the potential, the possibilities in their lives, we decided to do a life skills program. Um, and we see, even uh, at their age right now, we see a lot of uh, potential being unlocked. Our children are expressive, they are assertive, they know uh, how to explain uh, different concepts. They are applying them in, uh, at home, in schools, and in the community. Uh, we have really structured out a life skills program which we can teach, but also um, evaluate and monitor and know what is happening. Uh, we felt that if the children alone know about life skills uh, and the parents don't know about it and the community doesn't, it may still be difficult. So in our program we have a, a parents um, program uh, for life skills. We have uh, our community. We are planning to do a community outreach where our school is uh, so that the youth can be helped to be employable. Uh, we also believe that it's actually in line with the Ministry of Education and Sports to do life skills. Uh, ultimately, and when all is said and done, uh, we go through education so that we can work well, so that we can get skills to work well. And uh, if we only give our children knowledge and we do not incorporate the life skills, certainly they will not apply this knowledge in life. So. Uh, we really appreciate the partnership we have with uh, First Africa uh, Life Skills promoters from Nairobi who have come and uh, are to be with us so that we can take this program further. A group from Nairobi, known as Life Skill Promoters, traveled all the way from Kenya to Uganda to train kids on how to deal with their challenges, making decisions in life, and how to perform well in class, and how to interact with people. Esther Mode, I come from Nairobi, Kenya, working with an organization called Life Skills Promoters. We are here on a training to train the children on life skills. Basically, it's supposed to prepare them on how to deal with life challenges. That is the major issue. So they're able to interact with their neighbors, to interact with their parents, and to also perform well in school. 
So it, it has been a four days training, but this is the third time we are here training VEST Education Services. Uh, the children are being prepared to go to secondary school and to also live well within their home environment and the school environment. control my emotions and I've also learned that no man is an island. If you're like working alone, you should need someone to help you in whatever you're doing. You shouldn't do everything alone. And also I have learned that we should not always be happy, that some people always have high esteem and low esteem, but most people have low esteem, but they should also improve on their, their weaknesses and also have a high esteem. Thank you. My name is Daniela. I'm primary six at Victoria's Primary School. Um, I'm here at school. We are learning life skills. And what I've learned, I've learned, I've learned about the good code thinking, creative thinking. Because they had given us a task, we were tied with ribbons, but then I've managed. My name is Asa Joshua. I'm in primary six active from Victoria's Education Services. And I'm here, I'm here to tell you what I've learned from all that you have seen you have seen on those cameras. I've learned that all that you have is needed. All all the self-esteem you have is needed in what you are doing. And everything you do is needed in every in everything in life like let's say you have like let's say you have self esteem you can easily do get a job you can easily get anything in any place <laughs> Malnutrition is the condition that comes from eating a diet in which certain nutrients are lacking. And this is a disease that disturbs many children who don't get good balanced diets and have wrong proportions of the diet. India has the highest number of affected children in the world. Almost 42% of the children in the country that has 61 million people are malnourished according to the Hunger and Malnutrition Report released by the Prime Minister Manmohan Singh in New Delhi. The Prime Minister called the civil society entrepreneurs and business communities to bring malnutrition down. Welcome back from Kenya's. I hope you learned a lot about what was happening. And you know kids are going back to school, right David? Yeah, children are uh, already going yes. back, some are already in school. Yes. So, you know, we always pray that you have the best time yeah. ever. You know, some times are oh, really horrible. horrible. It's a second time and I wish you the best in everything. Yeah. But first, let's get to see what is going on in the health world. Hi kids, you're welcome to Care Health this morning. My name is Dr. Nicolette Nabukera Barunji. And this morning we are going to talk about exercise. Exercise is very important for every kid. You need to exercise your body. Naturally, every kid wants to play. And when we are playing, we are exercising. So you can exercise by playing football, running around, 
at school, at home, and exercise is very healthy for every child. I know some children don't like to play, you want to just sit and watch TV, but that is not healthy for you. You need at least one hour of exercising your body physically. When you do that, then the food you eat is able to move around and make you grow in a more healthy way. If you don't exercise, you may just put on so much weight. And then when you're too heavy, you keep being uh, very big all your life since, you are, since childhood. So you need to exercise and then you will have a very good size instead of being overweight. And I know there are some parents who don't want you to play. So children, please tell your moms and your dads and your aunties that you need to play so that you can be more healthy. It is good for your mind, it is good for your body, and it will make you much more healthy. There are some diseases you will not get when you exercise every day, so please make sure that you tell your moms that the doctors say that you need to exercise your body. You may exercise by playing football, playing dodgeball, seven stones, uh, netball, many games are physical and some of them are at school or at home with other kids so you need to exercise your body. If you must do something, don't just pick up the remote and change channels, you can as well stand up, that's a form of exercise. Your body is moving, make sure you're still young, make sure you keep moving and your body will be much more healthy when you do that and it is not good for you to just sit at home and watch TV, play video games. That does nothing to exercise your body. Do exercise that will make your body move and then uh, you'll be a much more healthier child. Uh, so that is all we had for today. See you next time. Bye-bye. Welcome back from K Health. I hope you learned what was happening in the health world. David, what do you think about K Health? You know, K Health is where we get to. Yes. Planet Kids always mm. bringing you the brand yeah. new things about K Health. Don't yeah. you like it? Of course I like it. Why do you think we're always looking fantastic on show? We yeah. don't put on makeup, we don't put on we anything. Don't. Yeah, we're always brand new with fast this things that always. our teachers of Planet K tell us. But I hope you go for a short commercial break and be right back with K Talk. <laughs> 